In part 2, we'll create a lookbook in Clo by using the items I downloaded from Connect. By using the downloaded garment, I'll modify the patterns and use fabrics and trims to create the garment for a lookbook. In part 1, we went through the purchasing process in Connect. In part 2, we are going to use the purchased items from part 1 to make garments. So if you have not watched it yet, please go back to watch the part 1 video. The items downloaded from Connect will be saved onto your computer as a zip file. For easy work in Clo software, I'll unzip the file and put them all in one folder. To edit the garment, I'll first open the Connect Officials Block A-Line dress file we've downloaded from the Part 1 video. This seat pack file only contains a garment without an avatar, so I'll also open the unit avatar that we previously downloaded. After you load the A-Line dress, let's make them into a black one like this. You may follow the steps, or you can just add a little artistic touch while following the steps. To adjust the length, please delete the turned back hem and all the internal lines. Then select the sleeves and hem line from the bodice and use offset pattern outline to shorten the length. Then, let's add the waistband to the dress. Add the internal lines on both the front and back patterns, then right-click and cut. From a 2D window, use the rectangle tool to create a rectangle shape pattern for a waistband. Just roughly create a pattern and don't worry about the size. We'll revise the pattern while doing the simulation. Then, let's sew the waistband we just cut off. Also for the sleeves as well, create a rectangle pattern for the sleeve band and sew it to the edge of the sleeve. Now, let's adjust a neckline. First, delete the original neckband and select the Edit Pattern tool from the 2D window to drop down the center point as much as you want. If you're done adjusting the neckline depth, let's do the turn back hem to finalize the pattern. Now it's time to add a creative touch to your garment by using trims and fabrics. First, let's apply the fabrics that we have downloaded previously. From the object browser, drag and drop the ZFab file you downloaded to add the fabric to the Fabric tab, then apply the fabric to the pattern. Here, you can either apply the fabric for each pattern or just simply drag and drop on the existing fabric to override it. This time, we are going to add the sequence to the waistband. First, 
create an internal line for a sequence stitch by using the feature called offset as internal line. Set the number of offsets and the distance of your preference. Then, from the object browser, load the sequin SST file by drag and drop to the Stitch tab. Next, by using Segment Top Stitch tool, add the sequin stitch on the created internal line. After setting the sequence stitch, if you still want to change the texture and the color, click on the sequence stitch and adjust the options from the property editor at the bottom. Since you made it this far, the next step is to attach rhinestones to the hem. Drag and drop the saved trim file to the 3D window and use the glue tool to attach the rhinestones to the garment. Since I want to add a few more, I'll select the created rhinestones and copy and paste them into several places where I want to put them. You can also use the trim size setting on the property editor on the right to customize it to the size of your preference. Now, this time, I want to change all the rhinestone settings at once. In this case, select one rhinestone, right-click, select all trim, and change the color in the property editor to edit it at once. Once you finalize the pattern and apply the trims and fabrics, let's apply the pose to the avatar. Drag and drop the saved pose file along with the avatar to the 3D window to open it, and click the OK button when the option setting pops up. Then the garment is simulated naturally and changed to the applied pose. When all the poses have been adjusted, this time I'll improve the quality. First, select all patterns and lower the particle distance to 5 in the property editor. And for the final process of the simulation, you may use the high-res garment tool to improve the completeness of the garment. Lastly, for the rendering process, I'm going to open up the saved scene file. Then, drag and drop the file. Be sure to select Add for the load options when loading the file. Please note that if you select Open, your work will be closed without saving. Since the background already consists of an avatar, make sure that you mark the checkbox on the avatar option before adding the file. Then, you'll see the background and lighting files on your 3D window. Now, let's move on to the rendering process. On the top menu bar, go to Render to open the Render window. And select the Image and Video Properties tool. Then set up the simple properties in the Property Editor. You can check the view with the interactive render for preview, and the render will begin once clicking on the final render button. Lastly, the final rendered image will appear. So this is the end of the video on how to create a lookbook. We hope that you'll continue to make various garments using Connect's items to empower your designs. In part three, you'll learn how to upload and sell your items to Connect. So please continue watching the following video tutorial.